Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Siebert. It's time for our tropical forecast here on YouTube as we take a look out into what's happening in the Atlantic Sea Basin. I tell you what, it is as active as it can be. We've just passed the height of hurricane season, but we've got four systems that we are tracking two just off of Africa. Of course, Sam will take a look at here in a second, and then up here to the north. So let's go to our current storm. Now, Sam is still a powerful category four hurricane. And as we look at the storm itself, just kind of giving it the eye test. Well, first of all, the eye eye wall is very uh, pronounced at this point and the symmetry around the storm is very balanced and so it's breathing in it's breathing out it, it is a strong storm and I don't really see it weakening anytime soon we don't have any strong upper level winds where you see the clouds being blown off one direction or another so it's a strong one but probably the best news about this storm is where it's headed. It's not going to make it into the Caribbean or the Windward Islands or the Dominican Republic or Puerto Rico. It's going to take this right hand turn. And so, yeah, it's going to be strong. We do, do expect it to weaken over this coming week. I mean, winds are currently at 130 miles per hour, but it will be drawn away from the U.S. And I'm going to show you why because of this cold front. Now the cold fronts have been timed perfectly in the last couple of weeks that as a, a system starts to approach, we've had a cold front to push it out of the way. I mean, here in the Houston area, we had uh, a front that came through a week ago that just cleared everything and it was beautiful. And it also was one of those things that pushed all the tropical systems out of the way. And by the way, look at this with the, the computer models with Sam. This is going all the way into the weekend and beyond. Look at how close together they are. And when those models are really close together, that means the confidence is really strong of the direction of this thing. And that's pretty much thanks to the upper level winds and that cold front that's going to push it away. So we also have had the cold fronts kind of influencing us down here, blocking anything that would develop, not only, you know, for the Gulf of Mexico, but the Bahamas, even the Caribbean. But if you also notice, we've got a lot of activity here that's going on as far as rainfall. But it's not necessarily coming from the tropics. It's actually upper level disturbances that are wrapping around an area of low pressure that is centered in the southwestern US. So it's not tropical in nature and therefore it's not really causing any problems, although it's going to be kind of soggy in southeast Texas for the next few days. Not flooding, just soggy with daily chances for showers. Everything's quiet from the Gulf of Mexico into the Caribbean, as I mentioned. So let's talk about these two systems that are just coming off of Africa. Now, first of all, if you look carefully, Notice the, the possible forecast of where these might develop and form. Notice that it looks very similar to the track. In fact, this back one looks to take more of a right hand turn even more than what Sam is doing. And that's a good news. That's really good news because if we're over here in the Atlantic and it's already starting to take that northerly track, then most likely we'll stay away from the Gulf of Mexico, stay away from the Caribbean and stay away from the US in general simply because of the way it's going to go. And we do expect both of these to form. Now this first one here, 90% chance. So probably by the next time we talk by tomorrow, this will be our next system, which I think is Victor will be the next name. And then this could be Wanda. I think Wanda's the last one and it has an 80% chance over the next five days. So these are going to form and most likely with luck will continue to stay away. And now up here, this one has a 40% chance. Now it has less of a chance and you can see why. What's happening up here? Do you see how that all is blowing away? Upper level winds are pretty strong right now. And so it wants to form that area of low pressure, but the, it's just being sheared off. It's just kind of blowing the top off the storm all the time. It doesn't have a chance to organize. And then of course we have that cold front that's also going to take it and sweep it away. So it's not going to be a problem for the US either. Tropical names, well, like I mentioned, we're running out. So Victor and Wanda are the next names on the list, but we're not done with hurricane season yet. And so here is the new supplemental tropical names that we just got for the coming year. Now, what that means is when we run out of names at Wanda, then we'll start on this list and go through this. So it's kind of a new one for this year. Uh, something that's different from the last years. And so we'll keep our eye on this and chances are we will get to these supplemental tropical names before the end of hurricane season. So that's our report for today. The best news is that nothing's really pointed towards the United States of America. And that is good news. We'll see you next time.